am your host for the evening. I am Andy T. Broughton, and we are going to have such a wonderful time tonight on Nightline. I have some beautiful ladies on the set with me tonight, and they're going to be sharing about their new the summit that's coming up. And oh my goodness, we're just going to have a joyful time tonight. The Lord is going to move. The Holy Spirit is going to have its way. And so what we're asking you to do tonight is call someone and ask them to tune into Nightline because they do not want to miss what this powerful women of God, what they're going to be sharing on tonight. I do have a scripture I would love to, to read for your hearing. Uh, it's lifted from the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 31, 26 through verse number 30. Uh, it reads, she opened her mouth with wisdom and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well to the ways of her household. She does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. I love that. That's an awesome word from the Lord tonight for a woman <laughs> who fears the Lord is worthy to be praised. And I tell you what, we're going to, God is going to move. Call someone and ask them to tune into Nightline tonight. And then I want to remind you that we have some awesome prayer partners that we would love for you to call in. The number is on the screen, and we would love to hear from you. If you have a praise report, and if you have a testimony, if you need prayer for anything at all, please pick up the phone tonight and call us. We want to hear from you. But our guest tonight is the beautiful, the amazing Pastor uh, Natasha D. Mayer of Kaya Church of Worship. We also have Apostle Tammy Louse. She's a senior pastor, Remnant Worship Center. And then we have Lady Janet Branham from Word Ministries. I tell you what, we're going to have a powerhouse good time tonight on Nightline. And our musical guest tonight is Terry Bannister. So you know she's an awesome, powerful woman of God, and God is going to use her in a mighty way. But right now I'm getting ready to go to our guests and we just want them to just to share tonight about the summit and not only share about the summit, but share what all the good Lord is doing in their lives. So hi, Pastor Mayor, how are you? I'm wonderful, how are you? <laughs> I want to thank you for being with me again on mm -hmm. Nightline. You were with me, I think, back in March, maybe yes, somewhere I now. Was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. And so when I found out that you were coming back, I said, oh, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> Glad to be here. Glad to be yes, here. Yes, and you me. are sitting with some beautiful ladies. You I want to am. tell us who they are? I will. We have Pastor Tammy Lyles, wonderful uh, Apostle Tammy Lyles, wonderful sister and friend in, in, the, in the Lord. Yeah. And we have Lady Janet mm -hmm. Brandon with us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you ladies, y'all look beautiful. I said mm -hmm. a few minutes ago, all mm -hmm. three of you all just look so beautiful and mm -hmm. elegant and women of wisdom. Amen. You, know? Amen. <laughs> you can tell they are women who love God, yes, who fears amen. the Lord, who reverence in Him. Amen. And so I'm thankful for that. So, um, Apostle Loud, Tammy, mm -hmm. Loud, tell us about you tonight. Well, um, I've been pastoring now uh, for 10 years. It'll be 10 years. We'll be celebrating in October of this wow. year um and god is just doing some very amazing things you know in the body of christ and yeah. just glad to be a part of what god is doing well tell us a little bit what is god doing in in your life and ministry in our ministry we are like growing by leaps and bounds wow. and god is just showing himself mighty miracles signs and wonders just like he said he would do in the last days <laughs> yeah. and, and and i'm holding on to the <laughs> prophet joel where well, he said i'm going to pour out my spirit on yes. all flesh yes. and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy so this is what we're seeing in our ministry just growth deliverance change just seeing god move Seeing God mm -hmm. move, Seeing and that's God what it's move. all about, that's isn't it? About. To see the Spirit of God move in our lives and, you know, people coming to the Lord and yes. lives being changed, yes. hearts being healed, yes. minds being Amen. regulated yes. in the name of Jesus. And so, um, uh, Pastor Tammy, 
Is your name Tammy? Janet. Mm -hmm. Pastor Janet. Brandon. Okay. From the Word Ministries. Yes. Tell us about you. Um, I'm Lady Janet Brandon. Okay. You're yes. lady. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm the first lady at uh, Word Ministries. Um, my husband, we started the ministry. It'll be I'm right behind them. Really, it'll be 10 years in March. Okay. And we're located in Spartanburg, South Carolina on Whitney Road. Um, and our, my, our mission is go ye into the world, compelling men to come in. Yeah. Uh, we, are, we are word ministers and we preach the word, we teach the word, amen, and we are building the church and the people of God. And mm -hmm. I, we always say if you build the people, you build the church. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. We are growing. Slowly but surely, but we are growing. Amen. It's what God has given us to do, the mission that God has given us to do. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you shared that because, you know, we all should have a mission. Right. We, should, we all should have a vision from yes. the Lord, things that he has put in our hearts yes. to do right. and to walk, walk it out. Yes. You know, and we're walking by what? Faith. Faith. <laughs> Amen. Faith. And not by sight. sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell us, okay, let's talk about the women the Woman Leader Summit, mm -hmm. the Woman Leader Summit 2023. Yes. That sounds powerful. Amen. <laughs> it's going to be powerful. Amen. It's going to be amazing. Amen. But um, it was laid on my heart uh, to do something for um, women. Um, I'm sure everybody saw the movie, The Woman King. <laughs> and so Amen. it started with that. Okay. Uh, and then I just, you know, it just come to me, the woman leader because women, whether you're a pastor or not, you are a leader. Right. If you're a woman, you yeah. are a leader. Yeah. <laughs> you wear a lot of hats. Yeah. And so I just wanted a day where we could come together and worship the Lord and be empowered and just encouraged uh, because we as women, with all of those hats and with all of those responsibilities, we just need a day where we can just be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And that's what this summit is about. It's about um, we're trying to get a hundred women in one place, powerful women. Amen. <laughs> women. I don't know how yeah. we're gonna make it through, but we're gonna make it through. Amen. Yeah. And so we, we're we're gonna have a keynote speaker, uh, Dr. Paulita Bruce. Yes. It's gonna be our yes. keynote speaker. That's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> and these two ladies are two of the three panelists. So we'll have a panel talking about issues that women face in leadership and challenges and how they overcame them. Well, I see that the flyer is on the screen, and so mm -hmm. I tell you what, it's a beautiful flyer mm -hmm. and Thank beautiful you. women of God yes. and anointed. So how did you, did you, did God just show you in a vision who to ask to come, or what happened? How did that come about? Well, pretty much um, we have a, a partner, uh, someone who uh, had permission from her pastor to work with us, who's here in the studio tonight, uh, <laughs> Sister <laughs> Chanel. Um, she actually recommended the keynote speaker, okay. who is our church overseer and covering. And then we just, I just wanted some women who, I don't know their personal story, yeah, but God laid them on my heart. So I know that they have something to share, coming from different perspectives, because we have a first lady <laughs> and we have an apostle. Yeah. Um, and so we have different perspectives, di women coming from different backgrounds mm -hmm. to be able to share how they've overcome and how God has been faithful to them throughout the years because we know they've been faithful because they still stand in Amen. Amen. <laughs> and, uh, just, just, just share about the challenges and how God brought them through. So Apostle Lyles, tell us about what, what are you going to be talking about? Um, mainly about just like starting a ministry and not really having that help from like a male yeah. figure you know and just the challenges and how you know you just have to learn to lean on God mm -hmm. and to learn to trust in him <laughs> yes. because you know and then you know just dealing with you know like just the, the things that women you know go through in ministry alone mm -hmm. um, with overcoming obstacles and um, and just putting God first and just mm -hmm. loving him leaning on him and when he puts you up man can't take you down yes. so <laughs> we just learning you know just to let god be god that. in our lives yes Amen. i love that when god puts you, you up yes. that's yes. it yes that's it because we're standing on a firm foundation Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. no weapon can come against Amen. us and if it comes it won't it won't worry Amen. 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 praise god so lady brandon what mm -hmm. are you going to be talking about 
Um, I will be coming from the aspect of being a first lady. Um, I can just, uh, you know, have a testimony of when my, well, the Lord called my husband to call, you know, to come out. You know, we have to follow him because, you know, that like that. But uh, in that aspect, um, you know, when you're a first lady, mm -hmm. you don't get no training. You don't, it's not no <laughs> manual. Amen. You know, you just have to go. You know, a lot of people say they're going to be there to help you, but it comes through, through you have to walk there. You have to walk it out. Yeah. And uh, just from that, and you know, when you're a leader, you have to, you know, as far as being a first lady, you have to be an example to the flock. Mostly we're talking about the women. Mm -hmm. You have to be in it, be that example. Yes. But also being a leader, also I have to be under subjection also to my pastor. Right. You know, my husband, I still have to be under subjection and know when to say, no, you can't ask me to do that. I have to talk to pastor because a lot of times they will come in and try mm -hmm. to override, but I still have to submit also. But just being that leader that God is calling for in these last days to be, mm -hmm. the, be the epitome of a um, that Proverbs 31 1 we know it's hard it's hard to, it's hard to get that but just being that example to strive for that well Amen. that's one of the reasons why I'm happy that uh, you all are having the summit mm -hmm. because you just said that uh, um, sometimes we don't have the necessary training or the right. manual or whatever right. Right. but y'all are doing that y'all yeah. right. are putting teaching in place to help somebody else mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. coming along behind you say, that's well, you know right. what? You can do it this way. I can help you with this or that's help right. you with that. And I think that's awesome. Amen. That's Amen. awesome. Amen. And it's, you know, you are a beautiful lady. You know, the, you, can see, <laughs> <laughs> you can see the hand of God on your life, Amen. you know? Amen. And uh, we were just talking with your husband uh, before we came on the air. And, and, you know, I know that he's an awesome man of God, yes, but he, look who he has standing with him Amen. though. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's powerful in um, itself. That's the glory you. of God. And the virtual woman said her husband will praise her. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a blessing when your yes. family, yes. when your husband yes. <laughs> say, you know, well, I got a good wife. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I got a good, Amen. I got a good mother. I got a good sister. You yes. know, we need that family mm -hmm. support, that's that's, that that's family right. unit as we yes. go forth in God. Right. Yeah. So when is the summit? The summit is going to be September the 9th, and it's going to be in Spartanburg. Apostle Lyles has graciously, graciously offered her sanctuary oh. uh, as a place to hold the summit. So Saturday, September the 9th. I say 11 to 3, but the Holy Ghost is in charge. <laughs> Amen. <of the> summit. <laughs> So we plan to start at 11 <laughs> when we get out and yeah. something else. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Well, I think that's awesome because you know what? When the Amen. Holy Ghost come in, Amen. you know, like I told you one time before you was having something, I said, yeah. we just don't know. We just don't <laughs> <You> know? <laughs> that's right. You can't say, get up, get up. Yeah. It's, right. Yeah, that's right. it's 3 o'clock. It's time to go. <laughs> no, no, no. Let him have his way. Yeah. Yeah. Let the Holy Spirit have his yeah, way. Right. Yeah. yeah. So y'all have musical guests coming in or? We have um, Pastor Donna. Robinson is going to do our um, song selection before the speaker. Yeah. But I have a family member of mine, uh, Jessica, who's Pastor Jessica, who's going to be doing our praise and worship oh, for wow. us. So we're going to have a, a marvelous time. Amen. We we'll have a marvelous time. Yes, ma'am. So are y'all going to have like a luncheon or anything? We like are. That? We have a wonderful chef, um, Chefany. Um, She's going to be doing the catering for us, mm -hmm. and I believe she's up for an award, if I'm not mistaken, for her cuisine. So we're going to have a <laughs> wonderful lunch. Uh, we'll also have some vendors there so the women can shop. You know, I like to shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have some Who vendors don't like there. Who don't like to shop? You know, <laughs> I'm just saying. Amen. We ain't going no summer, they ain't no shopping. <laughs> and we don't shop, but we going to shout. And we going to eat. I know, I know. Wow, well tonight, you see, we're having such a wonderful time tonight. We have Pastor Natasha DeMera, Apostle Tammy Lyles, and Lady Janet Brannon. And I tell you what, call someone asking to tune in because they want to hear what about the summit. But right now, we're getting ready to go to our musical guest, Terry Bannister, and she's going to be singing No Other Hope. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I 
don't know where, I don't know where, I don't know how, but my God will deliver me. I don't know where, I don't know where, I don't know how, but my God will deliver me. Cause Lord, I have no other hope but you. 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 And if the dark comes and there's no light in and I'm feeling lost, I know you and even if my heart breaks or my back's against the wall and there's no one here even then you can't deliver me cause Lord I have no Tonight, we are talking to some amazing women of God about this amazing summit that they are getting ready to have, the Woman Leader Summit 2023. <laughs> and so we're hoping and praying and believing that you're going to come and be blessed by what, they, what they're going to share in this summit. You want to offer hope, don't you? I do. Yes. I do. So tell yeah. us about what is hope to you? And because I mean, there's a lot of people right now just walking around, they don't have any, mm -hmm. you know, because of everything that's going on in this world. Mm -hmm. How can we offer them some hope tonight? I say hope is not only knowing God can, but knowing that he will. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because there's a difference. Mm -hmm. And then also taking it a step further, knowing he'll do it for you. Yes. Because yes. a lot of times people know that God can do, and we know he can do anything mm -hmm. but fail. But because of what they've gone through in the past or their present circumstances, you know, they may be facing rejection or depression or abandonment issues. And they say, I know God can do it, but will he do it for me? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, Hope says, not only can he do it, he's going to do it for me. Amen. <laughs> Not only can he do it, but he's, <laughs> he's going, going to, to do it. it. I love that. Mm -hmm. And that's what one thing that we got to pray for. And when we pray, the Bible says, when you pray, pray believing. That's, that's right. right. Believe what you're praying for. Don't, don't pray mm -hmm. and then get up and say, Lord, I wonder if you're going to do it. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, but that's where that hope, that's where that faith come in mm -hmm. and trusting God. Mm -hmm. So, um, Apostle Lyles, tell us, you know, how important is, because you said you started your ministry by yourself, basically, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So tell us about that, you know, did the Holy Spirit speak to you one day and say, mm -hmm. this is what I want you to do? How did that come about? Yeah. Well, after, you know, being in several different churches, different denominations, yeah. and just seeking and searching, and then God just began to give me dreams, and, and one day <laughs> he just said, what you're looking for is in you. 
Wow. It's it's in you. And yeah. you begin to tell me the name of the the, the ministry. Yes. Um, which is Remnant, and he was Remnant. you know letting me know that Remnant is just a piece of something that's mm. left over from something big. Mm. And he said, by the time that people come to you, and this is what this ministry will be all about, yeah, won't nothing be left but a piece. Mm. <laughs> and so God take these pieces and he sew it together. My mom uh, used to make these quilts and she would always go to the stores and she would ask for the remnant pieces because, you know, at the end of it, there's nothing left but just that piece. So what God is doing with this particular ministry, he's taking the people that are coming in, they're beaten down, you know, beaten down from this world, and he's yes. adding them into this quilt. And this is what I call yes. it, just that remnant, I the quilt. Mm -hmm. So this is this is what he's doing. I love that. Yeah. So yeah. by the time they get here, there's nothing left but a piece. And God can take a piece, mm -hmm. and he can work a miracle. Mm -hmm. yes. He can do the impossible yes, with just a piece. <laughs> God can take a little bit, a little bit, and make, make a lot. Much yes. Out of it. yes, yes, yeah. I think God. It was Abraham. God said, "When I called you, mm. you were just one. Yeah, but when I blessed you, yes. you became a, a mighty, mighty nation. nation. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And that's what I see God doing in your life. Amen. I see when God called you. You were just one. Just mm -hmm. one. But because his hand is on your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because he chose you before yes. the foundation yes. of the world. God is multiplying yes, you. Yes, he is. You have the spirit of, you have the anointing of multiplication Jesus. on you. Jesus. Yeah. So you can't help but to grow. Amen. You can't help but to expand. Amen. You can't help but to increase. Wow. You said a word, <laughs> expand, and that's what God spoke to us on Sunday. Yeah. I, I, all he said was expansion. Yes. And, and it was like not expansion per se in numbers, yes. but expansion in you. I'm yes. stretching you. I'm yes. making room in yes. you for wow. more. Yes. So to God be the glory, yes. expansion. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. And just listening to you ladies tonight, mm -hmm. that's what God is doing to all the oh, women yes. that's tuning in. Yes. Yeah. That he's, he is enlarging them. He's expanding them because he's, you know, so many times, sometimes people just need one person mm -hmm. to right. say, I see you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I see what you're doing. Yes. And what you're doing is encouraging me Amen. to do what I need to do Amen. to step out. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Wow, praise God. So, Lady Janet, <laughs> <laughs> talk to us about what is faith and hope to you? Uh, faith and hope, I can just tied them two together is just trusting in God. Yes. Leaning and depending on God. Yes. Even when you can't see the next step. Mm. Yeah. You know, faith is, and we know the scripture says without faith mm. that it is impossible to please yes. God. It um, is. When we uh, hold on to our faith, sometimes our faith is all we got. Mm. You, know, <laughs> even, you know, that's all we got sometimes mm. is our faith mm -hmm. in God because he said I never leave you yeah. nor forsake you. And our hope is a great expectation. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, expecting that we're going to see him one day. You know, we don't talk about heaven like we used to. People used to get excited mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. that, that they call the blessed hope that yeah. one day we're going to see him. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm expecting to yeah. see him. You yes. know, all this that we go through down here, you know, so my that faith and that hope is I'm trusting yes. in God's word. We know that he's not a man that he should lie. Thank you, Jesus. Neither the son of man that he has to repent. So I'm just trusting in God, even when I can't even see it, even yes. when you can't trace him. Yes. I mm -hmm. still trust yes. and depend Amen. on God. You know, that son they saying, you can't make me doubt him. Yeah. <laughs> I know too much about them. Yeah. <laughs> my mind is made up. Yes. My heart is fixed. Yes. No turning back. So yes. that, that, yeah. even in the world that we're in now, there are a lot of people, as you just said, that don't have hope. Yes. They don't have that hope. Mm -hmm. And, and with some, you know what? We're going to be the only Jesus that yes, some people right. see. Come so on. If you we are, exactly are the church, right. yes. we're supposed to be excited. Yes. We're supposed to have that hope. When they look at us, they should be able to, be able to see that light. Yes. That we have that light of God Amen. as a Christian, as Amen. a saint, yes. as they say. Amen. I agree with that Amen. completely, Amen. totally, wholeheartedly. Amen. Exactly right. Amen. You know, because so many times, you know, we you, you see Christians walking around. Mm. We have our head hung yes. down, you yes. know. Yes. No, lift up your head on oh, your yeah. gate. Yes. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting door, and the yes. king of glory yes. shall yes. come in. Right. Who Amen. is this king, king of glory? Yes. The, the Lord, Lord who is strong oh, and mighty. Yes. The Lord who is mighty yes. in your battle. Yes. Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. We're going to talk about Jesus. Yes. 
and yeah. tell about the goodness of the Lord. Yeah. What did David say? He said, I believe to see the goodness of the, the Lord, Lord. Yes. where? In, in the, the land, land of the living. living. That's yes. right. Oh, my God, my yeah. God. Hallelujah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we want to get to heaven, Amen. but God wants to enjoy life right, right now. now. That's mm -hmm. right. He said, I want you to have life and have it more, more abundantly. Right. That's right. And that's what I see God doing to you. Mm -hmm. God is giving y'all abundant life, and mm -hmm. the, your cup is overflowing. And I mm -hmm. see where God is using you to minister to other women. Yes. You know, Amen. women have been pushed back and shoved yes. under. Yes. You know, <laughs> say you'll never have anything. You won't never be anything. Yeah. But the devil is a liar. That's right. That's right. Oh my God. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. You powerful women. Y'all come and try to mess me up. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Amen. and I was looking at the word summit. What does summit mean to you, Apostle? To me, summit is where you go to learn and gain information. Yeah. And you may learn something you didn't know or hear something that's new that can totally just bless your life. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it, for me, I'm going to eat. Amen. Because as leaders, Amen. we feed all we, the time. Yeah. Yes. We feed, we feed, we mm -hmm. feed. And we just need to eat sometimes. Yeah. We need to have some people pouring back into that's us. Right. There you go. So we, that, to me, that let's just come together and let's just have Amen. church. Just have Amen. church. Yes. <laughs> yeah, put the CH back on the church. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes. I know because you know you and I, we was raised up like yes. that. We believe in heaven's church. church. That's you right. know, we Amen. believe That's right. when you hear the music going and yeah. and the drums playing and That's all that, right. you, you be running trying That's to get right. in the church Amen. house. Right. You know, That's like right. wait a minute, I'm coming. You know, Amen. <laughs> and you know when you get in there, you go down to the to the altar, to the mm. mourners bench, and whatever. Mm. You know, we didn't just go to our seat back in the day. You went to the to the altar and praying mm -hmm. and thank Amen. God, Amen. you know, then you, you know, and you don't need church without testifying either. Right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Like, I got a testimony. Amen. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. So how important is it you think to be able to testify and tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord? Well, he say we overcome mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> by the word of our testimony. Yes. Oh, and if you ain't got no testimony, then God ain't been moving in your life. But if he's been moving in your life, you can't help but to testify mm -hmm. of the goodness of God and yes. where he's brought you from and yes. where he's taking you to. And anybody that sit back on their testimony, you, you're not liberated. There's right. no freedom in your life, but... Mm -hmm. Every chance you get, you need to testify. Because yes. even if he wake you up in the morning, that's a testimony <laughs> that's in a of testimony. itself. Amen. Because somebody didn't wake up. Amen. Yeah. Somebody didn't wake up. But. Yeah. Amen. Yes. My, my, my baby son, he called me today. And, um, he lives in that stone ledge apartment. Did you hear on the news where those apartments burned up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the news, they were, he said, Mom, he said, you know, that happened. He said, but thank God it didn't happen in my apartment. Mm -hmm. You know, and I we just I just prayed and thank God. Yeah. You know, I said, yeah. I hate yeah. that it happened to anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I pr I keep my children yes. covered under the blood yes. of Jesus. Yes. You know, how important is it to pray for our children, mm -hmm. y'all? Very yeah. hard. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes, you know, sometimes your children, they they need mama. Mm -hmm. You know, they say the children should rise up the, and call her uh, what? Bless. 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 Right. So yes. mamas, we have to pray for our Amen. children. Amen. Call their names Amen. out to the Lord. Amen. Ask God to keep his arms around them, protect yes. them. Amen. You know, even when they might not be doing everything they're That's supposed right. to do. Yeah. Right. You know, Amen. at the right time. But we're Amen. praying for them, believing God. Amen. Isn't that right, lady? Yes, I was Amen. thinking about what you were saying, praying for your children. Think about the scripture about Job. Yeah, yeah, before he went mind. through his uh, little situation, mm -hmm. they said he would daily get up and offer up sacrifices yes. Yes. for his children, children. because, mm -hmm. you know, they was doing some kind of righteous living. They weren't living like they supposed to, but he still offered up sacrifices for him. And, and you know, a lot of times we see our children and they're not doing what we want them to do, but yeah. we still got to keep them lifted up yeah. in prayer. We are the, we are the intercessors yeah. for our family. Yes. And, you know, it starts, and, you know, I was thinking about Paul when they had the little... Um, <laughs> After the Holy Ghost had fed, and he told Jesus told them to start in Judea. That's in the home. Mm -hmm. We start. We supposed to start at home first. That's yes. Judea, then Samaria, and going to the uttermost parts. Then we go out, 
And a lot of times we want to go out first and we don't yeah, take care of our home. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yeah. No, <laughs> hey, that's, we want to hear what you got to say Amen. because, man, <laughs> hey, woman of wisdom, we want to hear. Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, Amen. my goodness. But right now, we're getting ready to go back to our musical guest, Terry Bannister, and she's going to be singing Little Is Much. Amen. <laughs> Jesus said, child, have no fear. It's enough to feed the crowd. Little is much when God is in it. He multiplies and he restores. Like with the loaves, like with the fishes. Thanks and praises to our God. Little is much when God is in it. Because he multiplies and he restores. Like with the loaves, like with the fishes. Thanks and praises to our God. Just remember what his word says, what is in your hand. Ask, knock, and seek, believe what he said, because he can make it grand. Little is much when God is in it. He multiplies and he restores, like with the loaves, like with the fishes. Thanks and praises to our God. Little is much when God is in it. He multiplies and he restores. Like with the loaves, like with the fishes, thanks and praises to our God. And what are you asking for? What are you praying for? What are you believing for? What are you asking for? What are you praying for? What are you believing for? Because the Bible says that he can do more than we can ever ask. Or imagine he is a good God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And little is much when God is in it. He multiplies and he restores. Like with the loaves, like with the fish. Thanks and praises to our God. Little is much when God is in it. He multiplies and he restores. Like with the loaves, like with the fish. Ephesians 3 and 20 said he would do exceedingly, abundantly, yes. above all that we can ask or think. It's according to the power of God that's at work in us. So are y'all believing God to do an exceedingly, abund abundantly above in this summit? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 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 Amen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Have y'all had a time of just coming together and just praying and seeking God and believing God? And We have our uh, intercessors on it, yeah. praying for the summit because mm -hmm. we really, we really want it to be impactful. Yes. We really want 
the spirit of the Lord to blow through that place. Amen. Amen. And it's already being held in the place that's just so anointed. Uh, so we thank God for the Remnant Worship Center. Amen. But we really want God to come in and just yes. touch those places in women's hearts that's yes. just going unnoticed. Yes. Because we can be strong as mm -hmm. women. We can yes. be strong. That's we got right. it. You know, we got to be strong. But there are times we need to be vulnerable mm -hmm. and just let the Lord touch those spots in our heart mm -hmm. that, that we just keep so guarded and protected. Mm -hmm. And I'm just believing to God that he's just going to come through there like, like a mighty Russian wind Amen. and yes. fill the house, just like on the day of Pentecost. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Listen, I just wrote that down. Yeah. <laughs> That's what That's I want to Pentecost. talk about the day of Pentecost because mm -hmm. the reason why I said that because... You know, I had looked up the definition of a summit, mm -hmm. and it said the highest point, mm. Mm. <laughs> the peak, wow. you know, yes. the top most level attainable. Mm. And so when you said the, sum the women leader summit, mm -hmm. I said, wow, they going up there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it reminded me of the day of Pentecost, mm -hmm. you know, when they was... The 120 was in the upper room. Yes. yes. You know, the Bible said they, they were with one mm -hmm. accord. One accord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it went, the Spirit of God came in like a mighty rushing wind. Yes. I said, oh, yeah. Amen. That's what we want. <laughs> and Amen. souls got saved. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So y'all not just asking for women to come in that's already in leadership and say, can anybody come? Can any woman come? That's not saved. Don't know the Lord. Any woman can come <laughs> because every woman is a leader. Yes. Yes. So amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise God. So tell us again about the summit. Uh, I know it's the the women, the woman leader summit. Tell us again where it's going to be and how can we come and is there a fee to come? There is a fee to come. Um, a group rate for four or more individuals, or is it five? Four more individuals is forty dollars each. Okay. Uh huh. Um, Fifty dollars now because we're beyond the early registration, um, but we do have some. If somebody want to come and <laughs> they just don't have it, it's more important that you're in the building. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. And so you can reach out to me. There's information on the flyer, uh, an email. You can reach out to me, and it's going to be held again at the Remnant Worship Center, Apostle Lyles. Uh, church 197 right? Boundary. Mm -hmm. Boundary Drive in Boundary Spartanburg. Drive. Yeah. And what time does it begin? Begin at 11 a.m. 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this should give people time enough to get up. Get, get, up. <laughs> get on up the road or <laughs> down the road or whatever yeah. direction they're coming mm -hmm. in. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so is there a certain attire, dress attire, or we can just come casual or what, you know, what? Come casual. Because you don't know where the Lord going <laughs> to place you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what he's going to do. So be comfortable. Yeah. You know, be casual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the Holy Ghost going to do some things that day, right? He's he going to move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guarantee he's going to move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he says from 11 to 3. 11 to 3 is what we have scheduled. What you have scheduled. Subject to change. Okay. Yeah, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Okay, because y'all not even going to have, y'all going to throw the program out the yes, window sir. if the Holy Ghost, when the Holy Ghost, right. ain't going to say, if, when the Holy Ghost comes. When he comes. Because y'all going to bring him in with you, right? That's Amen. Right. <laughs> Got him on board. You got to bring him in Amen. with me. <laughs> Well, I am super today. excited about this summit, and I know, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God, the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. is going to move because, you know, y'all have already set the tone tonight for the, for the summit. So why did y'all choose, why did you choose to call it a summit versus a conference? Mm. We have so many conferences. <laughs> we conferenced out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know, conferences are important, so I don't want to uh, down conferences. But I just want it to be something different because I wanted the women to come expecting something different, yes. mm -hmm. expecting to learn, expecting to take away um, information, expected to go out differently from when they came in. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted, I just wanted it to be a one-day summit. Wow! Praise God! So, mm -hmm. Lady Brandon, tell us again about being a lady, the first lady. You know, my pastor said that his wife is not only his first lady, but his, yes. she's his only, only lady. lady. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so 
So tell us about being a, the first lady. Uh, being a first lady, you have a lot of hats that you have to wear. Yeah. Um, when we first started the ministry, it was just me and my husband and our family. So um, I was, uh, and I still am, uh, doing the most of it. I was a Sunday school teacher, uh, praise team leader now, uh, keep the books, just doing a whole lot. Mm -hmm. You know, doing a whole lot. Wh whatever my hands found to do, I did it because it was a calling that God had given. And, you know, you're a first lady. You, you know, you can't say no because you want to see the ministry Flourish. go on. And, you yeah. know, I would make it comfortable for the man of God, mm -hmm. you know. I was, and I keep referring to the Proverbs 31 woman. Yes. But even within that, that Proverbs 31 woman, she was so busy. But her husband, she made her husband's name known among the gates. Mm -hmm. The people knew who he was. Mm -hmm. So... I, my my thing is to make it easy for him right. within that, but you know, in, even within that being called a first lady, you know, when I, first, when I left the church that we were at previously, I worked in the ministry there also. But it's different when you on your when you do your own thing because <laughs> after that, God began to a lot of things that I said I wouldn't do. God mm -hmm. began to open up the gifts, mm -hmm. you know, and I do. You know, anybody tell you I was quiet, I was comfortable. At my previous church, sitting on the fourth <laughs> row, on that, on that fourth row, <laughs> didn't, didn't nobody sit in my seat because that was my seat, you know. But after that, God says, "Well, I'm ready to move you up." You know, if he, you know, if he put, if he's elevated, I go with him. Yeah. So after that, it's just been, it's just, it's been good. Okay. I like what I do, Amen. Wow. Because God has has um, equipped me to do it. He equips yes. the saints, and yes. He has equipped me to do what I do. So. At first, it, it seemed like a chore, but now it's something that I want to do. I like doing it. And my husband says, sometimes you feel like you're trying to take over a little bit, ain't you? But, you know, <laughs> but, God had, but we work good together. We work good together to build a body. Mm -hmm. Amen. The first, and like I said, a first lady is an example for the women. We, have yeah. to, we got to be that example. We can't be the one that tears up the church. Amen. Right. We can't be the one that's gossiping and carrying stuff. I can't talk to every. I can't talk to the members about nobody else because some things don't need to be discussed. The first yeah. lady, she kind of sets the mood. You have heard mm -hmm. it. She is a fragrance for the church. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. We know the Holy Spirit is there, but the first lady can, you <laughs> know, her, her, the way she acts, they could, they can control the atmosphere because everybody watches the first lady. Yeah. They watch what you do. Mm -hmm. Watch when you come in. Yeah. What you got on? She got yeah. on. I had a little. I had a teenager uh, at the church, and she came in one day. And she was like, first lady, you ain't even got your nails done. I didn't know she was watching me, but she would watch me. You know, and they, even the young girls, they watch because they need that. Mm -hmm. need, you know, we need to be that mentor also. Amen. Amen. Well, you know what? When you say that you are the fragrance for the church, you know, I think that's a beautiful way to put that because mm -hmm. you are, you know, and, you know, a lot of times, People watch the first lady because they say, well, if she's happy, that means she's happy at home. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, if she come in sour, I mean, uh-oh. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> Something ain't right. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. Yeah, because I'm sure even as a first lady, a pastor, apostle, mm -hmm. whatever road the Holy Spirit have you in, it takes much prayer. Yes. Mm -hmm. It takes much prayer much faith, much commitment. Amen. Because just because you look beautiful on the outward appearance, Amen. sometimes your heart can be broken. That's Amen. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, you know, we used to talk about midnight tears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes mm -hmm. you still cry, mm -hmm. you know, but you have to hold your head up and yeah, go forth mm -hmm. and keep that same Amen. little sweet spirit. Yes, <laughs> Amen. Even when truth. time gets hard. Yes, ma'am. But I'm happy tonight that you all came to be with me uh, and to share about your conference, the Woman Leader Summit. I'm mm -hmm. glad the Holy Spirit put that in your heart mm -hmm. by just watching the, what's the name of that movie, The Woman King? Woman King. <laughs> <laughs> what impressed you about that movie, though? I mean, it's just how you saw the women going out to battle. When yeah. you're used mm -hmm. to seeing yeah. battles, you're used to the <laughs> men yeah. going out to battle. But the women went out, and they just conquered for their king. Yes. And so we're going out conquering Amen. for our king. Amen. Uh, Ephesians, I think it's Ephesians 3 and 20. Is that Ephesians? No, wait a minute. 
what it says, put on the whole armor of God, mm -hmm. that you be able to stand mm -hmm. against mm -hmm. the wiles of the devil. Mm -hmm. And having done all the stands, mm -hmm. you're going to stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what I see you women doing. Mm -hmm. Y'all are standing. Mm -hmm. Y'all are women leaders. <laughs> Y'all going to the summit. Amen. <laughs> And calling all other women to yes. come on up with me. Oh, you know, man. let's go to the mountaintop yes. and see what God is going to do. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Well, I'm thankful for y'all being with me tonight. And I pray yeah. this summer be something awesome in the name yeah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. But right now, we're getting ready to go back to Terry Bannister. And she's going to be singing Amazing Grace. Amen. Amen. Again, that was the beautiful Terry Bannister, and we are truly blessed to, to have had her tonight as our musical guest, and she just sang Amazing Grace. Amen. Mm -hmm. I love that song. Amen. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all, but I was a wretch one day. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm so glad God saved me. Yes. I'm so glad for his amazing grace, Hallelujah. and he is an awesome God. I want to thank you for calling in tonight. Wow, y'all have really had the prayer partners really busy tonight. The phones have just been ringing off the hook. And before we go off the air, we want to pray um, for our young people tonight that's getting ready to start back to school. That's one of the prayer requests that's been called in, the safety for our children in school. And then another one is pray for our country. Yeah, yeah, we need prayer tonight. Amen. We need prayer, right? Yes. yes. The Bible said men should always Please what pray. pray and not cease Praise. from praying. Amen. And then it says pray ye one for another. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, <laughs> uh oh, um, apostle, mm -hmm. apostle Lyle. Okay. I know God has got a word in you. You want to share real quick, don't you? Yes, Amen. you do. Okay. <laughs> Amen. If I could leave everybody with anything um, concerning this summit is if you want to see change in your life, you got to do something different. Yes. And if you can't change your mind about anything, then you can't change anything else about you. Mm -hmm. So it starts in the mind. It starts in the mind and in the hearts of the people to, you know, get that heart for God, to mm -hmm. want to go after God with all of your might, with all of your strength. And I know when we look at this world, it looks like we're on a sinking ship that's going down. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is there is hope. And that yes. hope is found in Jesus and in Jesus alone. I know they say there are many other gods, but there ain't but one. And his name is Jesus, the Come Christ, on. the son, <laughs> the son of the living God. Yes. And, um, and we're thankful tonight, you know, that we are women that are able to come together because sometimes mm -hmm. there is competition among yes, women and yes. sometimes it makes it a little hard for us yes, to come together because yes. we want to compare ourselves to one another right. but if everybody walk in the call that God has given right. you stay in your lane mm -hmm. and you know it's that's why it's called a five-fold ministry mm -hmm. not a one-fold <laughs> ministry on, because we need each other so that's when right. everybody get in their respectful places respecting one another then God is able to come in and move and to do whatever it is he desire to do and that's what we're believing God in this summit mm -hmm. that you know the woman of God that is hosting this you know yeah. we're, we're we're coming to support the vision yes. we're not coming to take over 
but we're coming to support the vision yeah. that God has given her. So I think if we women would come together and support one another, Amen. not try to outdo one another, right. then we can see God really truly move yes. in the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 I knew Amen. you had a word. Amen. I knew I was sitting there looking all cute. I knew I was... <laughs> Amen. I know that word was bubbling up. Amen. Lady Brandon, come on, what you want to say? Amen. 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 I just want to echo what she was saying. You know, they have a, they, it is a myth that women can't get together, yes. that we can't get together. And if we do get together, it's little cliques and so forth. Um, but um, I thank God for Pastor Natasha. Yes. Amen. That she is bringing us to Spartanburg. Yes. Amen. And, you know, we're talking about when we all get together, you know, one if she's the one, if she was the one that says one could chase a thousand, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then it comes back and say two could chase 10,000. Yes. When we all get together yes. in that sanctuary, My amen, God. amen, yeah. God can do some, some shaking. I, yes. I believe the house of God is going to get shook. Yes. Yes. I'm very excited about it. Mm -hmm. And I thank God, amen, that you allowed me to be a part mm -hmm. of this uh, summit, amen. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm excited about it, amen. Mm -hmm. amen. We're talking about it at church, amen. Everybody mm -hmm. ain't going to come, but God going to have who he want to be That's there. Right. Amen. Amen. Yes. And so we're excited about what God is going to do and Amen. what God makes happen. When you are, when you celebrate what God's doing for somebody, somebody else, else. Yes. God will make something happen for you. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. I had to go to a, um, a meeting today for chaplains mm -hmm. and uh, the theme for the, the meeting was chaplains need chaplains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, wow. <laughs> we all need wow. somebody, somebody to pray for yeah, us right. and encourage us. Pastors need pastors. That's yes. right. Mm -hmm. that's right. You know, apostles need apostles. Yes. Amen. Everybody needs somebody Amen. to pray to for pray them, for to them. encourage them in that's their right. walk in the Lord. Amen. And when you get one, get a little tired, yes. come on, you can undergird that yes. person yes. and speak strength to them. Yes. And that's what I believe God is going to do. Uh, in this summit. Mm -hmm. I believe these Thank women are going to walk Jesus. out of there shouting the glory. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And they're going to go back to their own places, yes. their places of worship. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a change in the house. Yes. Amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is y'all time to get away. Amen. And see what the Lord is going to do. Amen. Like that song said, you got to stop by the church sometime. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be saying Amen. to help you on your That's way. Right. Come on, Amen. somebody. Amen. We need to stop by yes. the church sometime. Yes. Amen. So, Pastor Natasha, tell us what's on your heart. Well, we hadn't talked about the theme for the conference. Okay, what's the so theme for the conference? The theme was going to be Girl, you ain't got next, you got now. <laughs> but that was too many words. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's just now because we celebrate when people say, I got next, I got next, right. I got next. No, you got now. now. You got yes. now. It's now. your time Amen. to come forward. Jesus. Now. Yeah. Amen. Next is last season. Yeah. This All season right. is now. now. So mm. now is the appointed time. Yes. Now, now is when he want to elevate yeah. you. Now is when he want to bless you. Now, <laughs> now it's time for you to open up your mouth and Jesus. sound the alarm and let, yes. let, let men, women, boys, and girls know <laughs> who your Savior is yeah. and wow. what he can do and what he did for you. So now is not the time to shy away and back away Come on. because yes, you're a woman and people <laughs> think you're supposed to be in this box and in this place. Same no, man. now it's time to kick down that box. Yes. Now it's time to break mm. free of yes. all of those preconceived Amen. notions yes. and let the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost. Yes. get in you yes. and open up your mouth Amen. and say what he said. <laughs> Amen. So now is the time. Amen. Well, y'all done got all fired up <laughs> over here. <and> I, <laughs> I'm all fired up. And I know you at home fired up, <laughs> too. God. Amen. Now is the time. Now. So now, like this. Like he says in Hebrews, the now faith now is the substance of things right. hoped for yes. and the evidence of things not seen. Yes. To God be all the glory. Well, again, I want to thank you all for being with me mm -hmm. on, on Nightline tonight mm -hmm. and just sharing about the summit. I know God is going to move. Amen. I know he's going to bless. Amen. And I know that he's going to empower. And somebody used the word impactful. Who said that word impactful? Mm -hmm. I know God is <laughs> it yeah. was said. I heard it. Jesus. It's going to be impactful. Yes. I want you. us to pray over these prayer requests Amen. before we close out. So I'm going to give you all, if y'all can just circulate them around, pass them around, give everybody a couple of them. You know, we are believing in God to move. Somebody heard what y'all said tonight. Amen. Somebody was already gone to the 
psalm in their heart, in their mm. spirit. Can you read just one? What does yours say on the first one? A lady needs healing. Yes. Mm. What does yours say, Apostle? Of healing. Yeah. Amen. What does yours say, Lady uh, Brown? Someone wants prayer to be delivered from drugs. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And again, we're going to pray for the children tonight. We're going to believe God that this year, not one child will be hurt, mm. wounded, or killed in Jesus. school. They're going to Amen. go to school. They're going to get just what they need. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Lady Natasha, will you pray for us tonight, Amen. for those that tune in? Pastor, Apostle, I'm sorry. I said, let me Apostle. That's fine. Yes. Amen. Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we just thank, thank you. Lord. We thank you, first of all, God, for who you are. We thank, thank you, Jesus. God, for what you've done. We thank you for what you're going to continue to do. God, we just thank you for thank being you, our Lord daddy, Jesus. God. We thank you for caring about us. You are the Alpha and the yes, Omega. Yes. You are the beginning and the end. Hallelujah. You are our healer. You yes, are our God. deliverer, God. Yes, God. God, you are well able to thank do exceeding you, abundantly above all thank we you, ask Jesus. for things. And thank Father, you, I pray over these prayer requests on tonight, God. Thank you, Lord God, Jesus. God, you know every every request that was written, you, Father. Jesus. And Father, you're able, God, to touch everybody that ah, needs to be oh, healed. Yes. You're able to keep our children covered in the blood of Jesus yes, God. in school, Jesus. God. God, Thank we you, believe Jesus. you for Thank miracles, yes, for signs, yes, and for yes. wonders, Hallelujah, God. Jesus. You were wounded Jesus. for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquity. Thank the you, chastisement Jesus. of our peace was upon you. Yes, and God. with your stripes, we are already healed, yes, God. Jesus. And Father, everyone that's asking for healing, I pray that you touch Thank their bodies. You, God from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, God. Jesus. And we'll be so careful to give you all the glory, honor, and praise because that's where it belongs. Thank In Jesus, Jesus' name Jesus. we pray, amen. Thank amen. Praise God.